Topology optimization finds the optimal distribution of a specified amount of material in a given space based on all applied loading conditions. Material will be removed from the topology region in such a way that the remaining elements provide the stiffest structure possible for specified total mass. The topology results thus provide a conceptual design that emphasizes efficient load paths. When using equivalent static loads to simulate collision loading, the external forces should be applied to an unrestrained free body using the inertia relief method. Concentrated masses that account for heavy components should be added to the inertia relief topology model. In a standard static analysis of a restrained structure, the applied loads are balanced by the reaction forces and moments at the fixed grids. On the other hand, in an inertia relief analysis of an unrestrained structure, the applied loads are balanced by inertia forces. These inertia forces are calculated internally using the mass of the structure and rigid body accelerations associated with the external loading. Comparing the topology results, with and without inertia relief, it seems plausible that some structure exists due to the placement of the boundary conditions. To confirm this, the element strain energy plots, with and without inertia relief, helps to illuminate the primary load paths due to the side impact load case. The use of single point constraints, known as SPCs, affects the load paths and topology results. If SPCs are not needed, do not use them. Based on the results, inertia relief should be used for unrestrained loading conditions during topology optimization. For more information on design optimization, please visit our website at www.vrand.com.